We're going to take a look at how to replace the spark plugs and ignition coils on Volvo vehicles. Start by removing those torque bolts that hold the engine cover in place. Now if your Volvo has another cover on top of this, you'll remove it by pulling up. This is the engine cover right on top of the, of the ignition coils. Now right here we have the ignition coils and you want to be careful so that you don't switch these connectors around and those ignition coils. Um, so if you have a connector going to cylinder 1, it needs to stay on that cylinder even if you replace the ignition coil or even if you move that ignition coil to another cylinder, the connectors need to stay on the same cylinder. Remove the 10mm bolt and then you press on the connector here and then as you press you pull away and once you do that then you can remove the ignition coil. Now be careful so that the boot doesn't get stuck inside the cylinder head. If it does, you simply pull that out. Next we will use a 5.8 spark plug socket and uh, you want to remove the spark plugs by turning them counterclockwise. Now we're getting ready to install the spark plugs. You need to be careful so that the spark plug doesn't drop in the hole there because if it does then the tip will get bent and um, uh, if that's the case you should pull out the spark plugs and ensure that, that the gap didn't change. I'm going to start threading spark plugs by hand and then torque them to a spec. Now we're getting ready to install the new ignition coils. Uh, when you install the ignition coils, you want to make sure that the, the boot is sitting right on top of the spark plugs. What can happen sometimes is that uh, the boot gets shifted to the side of the spark plugs and it, even though you might think it's uh, installed properly, it's not. And then you start the car and then you end up with a cylinder misfire. So make sure you go straight and you install that boot properly. Uh, once you're done tightening the ignition coil bolt, you can go ahead and connect the electrical connector to the ignition coil. Uh, you want to make sure you press that all the way in so that uh, you hear a click and also make sure that you don't switch those connectors around. So if this is a connector for cylinder 2, it needs to stay on cylinder 2. Um, so make sure that you don't switch those around or you're going to end up with a cylinder misfire code. Check engine later on. Put the engine cover back on, install all the screws, and go ahead and take your car for a test drive. If your check engine light was on before the repair, you can use an OBD2 scanner to clear the codes, or um, if the problem is no longer present, the codes should reset on their own within two to three days.